right, so let's get started by setting up our Binance app. So if you haven't already installed the app on your phone, simply go to your App Store or Google Play Store, type in Binance, and then it's this app that you can see right here. So when we open the app, this is probably what you're gonna see. So if you already have an account, you can simply log in right here. Or if you are new and you don't already have an account, you can simply click on register now here on the bottom and then we can start the sign up process. So the first thing is to type in the country you live in, then click on confirm and then we can click on create personal account right here. And then obviously you have to sign up using our email address and also decide on a password. And then we have the option to put in a referral ID right here. And I would highly recommend to put in the referral ID that you can see on screen now, because this is gonna save you 20% in trading fees every time you make a trade on Binance, which can add up a lot over time. So you're gonna save a lot of money just by using this referral code that you're gonna see on screen now. And by the way, you'll also find this referral code down below in the video description. So you can simply copy and paste it to make sure you have typed it in correctly. So once everything is filled out here, we wanna click on next. Then we have to drag this puzzle piece into the right spot right here. And now we have to confirm our email address that we have used to sign up for Binance. So we're gonna click on get code right here and then we wanna go and check our email inbox. So you're gonna get an email from Binance with an activation code. So simply type in the code right here and then click on submit. Then you can decide to turn on face ID if you want to, accept cookies. And then we also have to add a phone number to our account. So type in your phone number right here, click on next, and then you'll get a code that you have to type into your app. And then our account is created. Now the next step would be to verify our identity. Because I already have a Binance account with my identity verified, I can't walk you through all the steps right here, but simply click on verify now, and then type in all the information they ask of you, upload your ID documents and so on, and then you'll finally get to your Binance account. So let me give you a quick overview of how to navigate through the Binance app. So currently we are on the Binance Lite version of the app and there's also a Binance Pro version when we go to our account icon here and then we can switch from Binance Lite to Binance Pro. So Binance Pro has a lot more features compared to Binance Lite, which has all the basic features. So for example, whenever you wanna trade um, with a professional trading screen right here, then you need to go to the Binance Pro version or something like staking or lending um, is also available on the Binance Pro version. However, to set up our account and to look at the basic features, we're gonna stick to the Binance Lite version because it's a lot easier to navigate through. So here on the Binance Lite version, this tab right here on the bottom left, this is the markets tab where you can see uh, what cryptocurrencies are hot right now. Obviously there's a lot more that you can trade here on Binance. And then um, on the right side on the bottom, this is your Binance wallet. So all the cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies that you're holding on Binance, you're gonna find here under the wallet tab. On this tab, you can deposit cryptocurrency or fiat currency, you can withdraw cryptocurrency uh, or fiat currency and also um, earn some passive income, which we're gonna get into later. Then here in the middle, you can buy cryptocurrency, sell cryptocurrency and convert different cryptocurrencies against each other, which is something we're also gonna look at uh, later in the tutorial. So then on your account icon on the top left, when you go to your markets tab and you go to your account icon, here is where you can define all of your settings. So you have a task center where you can earn some rewards. Uh, you can claim your rewards here in the reward center. Then if you wanna refer some friends and earn some uh, money by referring friends, you can use click on referral and uh, send them basically your referral code, gift cards, gifts, and all that kind of stuff. So you can go through all of these on your own time if you want to. I'm just gonna cover all the most important things that you have to know um, when using the Binance app. So the first thing I wanna look at is the security settings, even though it's kind of a boring topic, but it is very important, especially if you sign up uh, for centralized platforms like Binance, where you hold basically your money, you wanna make sure that you have all the security measures in place to keep your funds safe. So when we go to our security settings right here, you wanna make sure that you have two-factor authentication activated. So by default, when you create your Binance account, you already have two-factor authentication with your phone number that you have already set up when you have created your account. So you have SMS authentication. What I would recommend you do is you do um, another 
form of two-factor authentication, which is using a Google Authenticator or another application like Authy, where um, it's basically an application on your phone. And whenever you log into your Binance account or you want to send funds somewhere, you're going to have to type in a six-digit code that you get from your app instead of getting the code from uh, by a text message. Because um, what people can do is they can SIM swap your phone and then they can get access to your text messages. And then it's a lot easier for them to hack your Binance account. So I'd highly recommend to set up a Google Authenticator or Authy. Personally, I like Authy a lot better for various reasons that I won't get into right now. Then you also have email authentication. This is basically another feature. So another layer of security where you also have to get a code to your email address. So again, every layer that you add, the hacker that wants to hack you and basically steal your funds, they have to get access to all of your devices basically to be able to steal your funds, which is very unlikely to happen. So there's also things like a Yubi key, which you can set up. This is not available on your phone right now. You can only set it up on your desktop version. So this is basically what you have to do to make your uh, Binance account as safe as possible. And then we can also take a quick look at the settings right here. So here is where you can change the language of your Binance app. You can also change the currency that, that your portfolio will be displayed in and also the payment currency. So whenever you buy cryptocurrency using the Binance app, what currency you want to use to pay for the crypto. Then the appearance, you can also change it from, uh, I think the light version is default and then you can also change it to the dark version or simply use the, the setting that you have on your device. Personally, I use the dark version. I think it's a lot easier on the eyes. So that's what I'm going to use here. And then the base, the rest is basically all uh, fine right here.